Some piercers suggest you clean your piercing with a soap or even an antibacterial soap, while other piercers tell you to stay away. And some states even require by law that it's written in our aftercare that you use this soap. So what's the deal with soap? Should I use it or should I stay away? So now I want to start off by saying that there's no chemical that's going to heal this piercing for you. Only your body can heal it up. Our bodies are amazing machines and we need to let it do its job. And a lot of times we interfere and cause more problems than actually help. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when we fall down and scrape our knee or scrape our elbow, we're going to have dirt, debris, and germs in there that need to be cleaned out so our body can start the healing process. When you get a fresh brand new piercing, we've done all that for you. There's no dirt or debris getting in there and everything was done in a clean, sterile environment. So none of those chemicals are needed. Now think about this. If you had an operation done and maybe you have some sutures or stitches down your arm, do they tell you to clean with soap and water and scrub at it? No, they tell you to stay away. So clean around the area, but don't get the soap inside the piercing. So what about showers and baths? What if soap goes over the top of it? Is it the end of the world? Nope, not the end of the world at all. But we can make it easier for when it does. And what I mean by that is use a mild soap that doesn't have perfumes or fragrances and this won't irritate it as much. If you're using a real harsh soap, that is really harsh on these wounds and will be steps backwards. So a mild mellow soap is the better option. Clean up to the area, but not inside. So what have you been told about soap on your piercing? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see y'all in the next video.